Hello there, and welcome to the show. I am Mike, and I'm Rainbow. And also, welcome to our building character unit for this month. Now, when I say the name Steve Jobs, <gasps> most of you will probably think about the Apple company that Steve Jobs founded with some friends back in the 1970s. And I think about my iPhone. Or you might also think of the many famous and popular products that Apple produced when Steve Jobs was working there, such as the iMac computer, the iPod. Wow, that was a long time ago, and of course the iPhone. But some folks might be surprised to know that Steve Jobs, along with being a very successful and creative businessman, was also a great public speaker. Some of the speeches that he made over his life have become widely read and admired, not just for the man who made the speeches, but also for the wisdom that Steve Jobs was trying to pass on. Wow! So for today and tomorrow, we'll be looking at one of these famous speeches that Jobs made to a group of young students as they were about to graduate from university. The name of our article for this month is also the main theme of the speech, and that is "Stay Hungry and Foolish." So let's start reading the article right after we learn more about the new vocabulary words we'll be using today. 今天要带大家看 Apple 苹果公司的 Steve Jobs 贾伯斯在 Stanford 大学的演讲里面提到最经典的一句话是 "Stay Hungry." Stay foolish, 到底是什么意思啊？先带大家看看四个单字。第一个单字 hungry, hungry, 渴望的，饥饿的，在这边是个形容词。我们会用 hungry for 这个片语来形容我们很渴望一件事。比如 Jasmine was hungry for attention and wanted everyone to like her. Jasmine was hungry for attention and wanted everyone to like her. Jasmine 非常渴望得到注意，她非常想要每一个人都喜欢她。第二个单词 foolish, foolish 愚蠢的是个形容词。一个人在做 something foolish 就是不经大脑或是有点傻。Sandy made a foolish decision to get a tattoo when she was sixteen. Sandy made a foolish decision to get a tattoo when she was sixteen. Sandy 在十六岁的时候做了一个愚蠢的决定，去刺青。第三个单词 advise, advise 劝告是个动词。My mother advised me not to stay out at night. My mother advised me not to stay out at night. 我妈妈劝告我晚上不要在外逗留。第四个单词 neither, neither 是个代名词，代表在两者之间，不是这个，也不是那个。Neither of my friends wants to attend the concert. Neither of my friends wants to attend the concert. 我的两个朋友都不想参加演唱会。好，现在我们已经看完今天的单词例句，接下来回到课文中。In 2005, Steve Jobs of Apple gave a speech at Stanford University. He advised the students to work hard. He said, "Stay hungry, stay foolish." What did he mean by that message? Was he telling everyone not to eat any food? Was he also telling them to do stupid things? Actually, it was neither of those. Explanation one. Okay, so the article for today begins. In 2005, Steve Jobs gave a speech at Stanford University. For those of you who don't know, Stanford is a famous American university in the state of California. It's well known as being a place for science and engineering students to go to study before they begin working in Silicon Valley, for example. Let's check out the first grammar point for today, and then we'll get back to continue our reading. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 give a speech， 意思是发表演说。
give 在这里是及物动词给予的意思。三态是 give, gave, given。Speech 在这里是可数名词，演说、演讲的意思。合在一起 ，give a speech 就是发表演说。后方可以用介系词 on 针对。或 about 关于引出演说的内容，例如 ，LV gave a speech on human rights. 阿飞针对人权发表演说。All right, so let's get back to the article to see what advice Steve Jobs had for the students. We read he advised the students to work hard. Oh, that's good advice. Let's hear exactly what he told them. He said, "Stay hungry, stay foolish." Hmm, hungry and foolish. Does that mean that he wants the students to stop eating so that they're hungry all the time, and he wants them to do silly stuff to be foolish? Well, that's a great question and one that we will get an answer to as we read on. The article actually asks the same question in the next line. It reads. What did he mean by that message? And next are some possible answers. Was he telling people not to eat any food? Something tells me that he wasn't doing that.、Mm, that would be strange advice for people, wouldn't it? And then we have another question about Jobs's words. It asks, was he telling them to do stupid things? These would be the foolish things he talked about. Well, we do get a bit of an answer right here as we reach our break. It says, actually, it was neither of those. Okay, so we know that this wasn't the advice he was passing on. But what exactly was his advice? We'll find out more, hopefully, after this break. Jobs wanted the students to go after their dreams. Also, they shouldn't settle for making just one dream come true. They should stay curious and hungry for knowledge. That way, they would become better people. Explanation two. And welcome back. We have been reading about a speech that Steve Jobs gave to a group of students, telling them to stay hungry. Stay foolish as they go through life. Now let's keep reading to find out exactly what he meant by these words. The next sentence in the article reads: Jobs wanted the students to go after their dreams. Okay, so he was telling them to stay hungry, but not hungry for food. Actually, hungry for more success and new goals. Let's pause here so that we can check out our second grammar point for today. 第二则文法是 go after their dreams， 意思是追逐他们的梦想。Go after 在这里是及物动词片语，追求、追逐的意思。例如 ，The dog went after the cat down the alley. 狗把猫追进巷子里。此外 ，go after 可以引申指想得到的意思。后方大多接事物当受词，例如 ，Our company is going after the video game playing market. 我们公司想拿下电玩市场。So Steve Jobs wanted the students to stay hungry for more challenges and success in life, but that wasn't the only advice he passed along. We read. Also, they shouldn't settle for making just one dream come true. 在文中里面有个补充片语 settle for， 意思是满足于。如果叫一个人 don't settle for something， 就是要他追寻更高的目标跟梦想啦。And here's another grammar point. So we'll go to Daphne one more time. 第三则文法是 make something come true。意思是使某事成真。首先 ，make 在这里是使役动词，使得的意思。如果要使后方的受词主动做某动作，则该动作要用原形动词来表达。再则 ，come true 是不及物动词片语，成真的意思。前方常以 dream 
、梦想、hope、希望、wish、愿望等名词当主词，合在一起 make something come true 就是使某事成真。例如 ，Amelia seized the chance to make her dream come true。艾米莉亚抓住机会，让梦想成真。All right, so Steve Jobs was telling some young students to stay hungry for goals and dreams as they go through life. Don't just try for one thing and then stop when you're successful. Keep pushing yourself as you go through life. And here's another thing he told these young people: they should stay curious. And hungry for knowledge, keep learning. In other words, school doesn't stop when you graduate. Your entire life should be always about learning. It's a really big world out there, and you can never really know too much about it. Very well said. Learning is a lifelong project, and we learn why this is good for us in the last sentence of today's article. It says. That way, they would become better people, and they would also lead fuller and more interesting lives. So get out there and explore the world while increasing your understanding and your appreciation of it. It can only make life better and more interesting. We have to wrap things up right here, so let's come back tomorrow to finish off our article. We look forward to seeing you all then. Bye bye. bye. Stay hungry and foolish. In 2005, Steve Jobs of Apple gave a speech at Stanford University. He advised the students to work hard. He said, "Stay hungry, stay foolish." What did he mean by that message? Was he telling everyone not to eat any food? Was he also telling them to do stupid things? Actually, it was neither of those. Jobs wanted the students to go after their dreams. Also, they shouldn't settle for making just one dream come true. They should stay curious and hungry for knowledge. That way, they would become better people. Hey everybody! My name is Shane. My name is Nina. Nina. Hey. I am a little bit angry at you. Why? You don't remember what you did? What did I do? <laughs> Got you. April Fool's Day. Got you.、Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. It's April Fool's Day. Okay. So you understand. Got you. 等一下 ，got you 不是指了解你的意思吗？嗯，也可以。可是你要看就是那个、嗯、那个 situation， 什么状况？对，嗯。So this situation， 啊哈哈 ，got you， 整到我的意思。Yeah， that's right。啊。啊。So it can mean， 嗯,嗯 ，OK， I understand。Or it can mean， 哈哈哈哈，整到你了。哦、oh, yeah. ，那整到你了还有什么其他的说法吗 ？If I'm trying to chase you。And I get you. How will you say that in English? Now I have you. Oh, oh, I own you. Happy Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, this is April Fool's Day, not Valentine's Day. So in this, I'm trying to catch you. So I say, Ah, I have you. Now I have you. And if you want to try, try to get away, you won't get away.、Ah! You won't get away. Okay, so the last one, you fell for it. You fell for it. It's the same. It's like got you. So you fell for it. Will be、hey. like, you, again. It's like we jump down you. Oh. Yeah. So I kind of feel that you are so smart. You are getting jumped down. You fell for it. I have no. Okay. Why don't we go to some conversation and we can see how do we really use these expressions in real life? Okay. Okay. All right. Got you. You fell for it. What's wrong with you? Happy April Fool's Day. Ha ha! Now I have you. You won't get away. What's your problem? 
Number one. Got you. Number two. Now I have you. Number three. You won't get away. Number four. You fell for it.我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们一分钟的单元。那在这一分钟的时间里面，我们要复习四个单词，还要造四个例句。同学们，您都准备好没？一分钟计时开始。好，第一个单词是肚子饿的、饥饿的，他也可以用来渴望的。你知道哪个字吗？叫做 hungry。hungry。They are hungry for more information。他们渴望想要更得到更多的资讯。求知若渴，这样好。第二个单字叫做愚蠢的，愚蠢的哦，太多单字了，像 stupid、silly 这些都可以指蠢的啊、傻的。那我们要学的是 F 开头的，叫 foolish, foolish, foolish。Brian made a foolish mistake。Brian 他犯了一个很愚蠢的错误。好，第三个单字是劝告，劝告要怎么说呢？叫做 advise, advise。它的字尾是 i s e 哦，如果我们念 i c e 就变成名词 advice， 那就是建议劝告。Okay, the doctor advised him to get more exercise。医生建议他要多多运动。好，第四个单词是代名词，它叫做两者之中没有一个是怎么样的，两个都不是。好，叫做 neither, neither, neither of them can speak Japanese。他们两个人都不会讲日文，哎，可恶，我这差一点点的。好，不管怎么样，我们还是不喜欢四个单字，同学们还是表现很棒。那我回去要多多练习，我们下次见喽，拜拜。